After it's all said and done, the numbers don't justify economic shutdowns and stay-at-home orders. I'm Christian Gomez, and you're watching JBS Straight Talk. In a recent study entitled COVID-19 Antibody Seroprevalence in Santa Clara County, California, researchers connected with Stanford University Medical School conducted blood tests of 3,330 residents from Santa Clara County, California. The purpose of the blood test was to check for antibodies to the coronavirus in order to determine who may have been exposed to the virus. 1.5% of 3,330 participating residents were found to have the antibody. Now, after adjusting for various statistics and demographics corresponding to the county at large, researchers calculated that the likely prevalence, that is the total number of individuals in a specific population found to have a disease or other medical conditions at a given time, ranged between 2.49 and 4.16%. For Santa Clara County's total estimated population of 1.93 million people, the calculated range translates to between 48,000 and 81,000 county residents having likely contracted the virus and not even knowing it. According to the researchers' study, quote, These prevalence estimates represent a range between 48,000 and 81,000 people infected in Santa Clara County by early April, 50 to 85-fold more than the number of confirmed cases. Conclusions? The population prevalence of SARS-CoV-2 antibodies in Santa Clara County implies that the infection is much more widespread than indicated by the numbers of confirmed cases. If these numbers are accurate, that means that COVID-19 is a lot more contagious than previously thought, but it also means that it's drastically less fatal than what's been reported. At the time when the study was conducted in early April, there were only about 1,000 confirmed cases and 32 deaths from COVID-19 in Santa Clara County, While this in no way undervalues those 32 fatalities, 32 deaths out of either 48,000 or 81,000 cases in no way justifies the kind of draconian measures decreed by Governor Gavin Newsom. In addition to the Stanford University study, another study conducted by researchers from the University of Southern California and the Los Angeles Department of Public Health found that the prevalence of COVID-19 in L.A. County is also likely far greater than previously thought. According to the preliminary study released by USC and the L.A. Health Department, 4.1% of L.A. County's adult population has antibodies to the coronavirus, meaning that somewhere between 221,000 and 442,000 adults in L.A. County had been infected with COVID-19. These new estimates are 28 to 55 times higher than the then roughly 8,000 confirmed cases of COVID-19 reported in L.A. County by the time the study was conducted in early April. And if true, this would further confirm that the virus is not as deadly as previously believed. As additional antibody tests continue to reveal that more people have antibodies to the coronavirus, it will drastically dilute the mortality rate of the virus, thereby destroying any sensible argument for state governors to issue draconian, one-size-fits-all stay-at-home orders, putting millions of Americans out of work and destroying our small businesses. State governments should limit their efforts to protecting those most at risk, such as the elderly and those with compromised immune systems, not the entire population. Securing sick people is a quarantine. Securing everyone is tyranny and inconsistent with a free society. We urge you to continue contacting your state legislators and governor and demand they reopen the state. You can do so with the link below in the description or comment section of this video, depending on which platform you're viewing it on. Until next time, stay healthy and God bless.